now, so they football fans, how do you think? Uh, never thought they'd see again. After 20 years, we're excited to reveal Sven Joran Eriksson is returning as England manager, dot, 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 for Soccer Aid. And how excited he's joining us now from Sweden. Good morning, morning Sven. Sven. Good morning, good morning. Oh, it's so lovely to see you. And how excited are you to become England's manager once again? This must be very exciting. Like the old uh, days. <laughs> yes, of course it is. I mean, first of all, that um, it's for UNICEF. So the, all the money goes to UNICEF. Yeah. Secondly, going back to Manchester City Stadium, where I was in charge for one year, shall be nice. And then... Looking forward to see a lot of uh, ex-England players I had during my time. So, of course, it's going to be a beautiful evening, beautiful night. Absolutely. Sven, I know Soccer Aid very well. I have to warn you, it's going to be a slightly different crop of players than the one you're used to at managing. <laughs> <laughs> and the standard might not be that. I understand just as high. I, I mean, mean... But to be fair, you're, the... returning, you're returning, you're reuniting with some of the greats. Uh, Rooney, Scholes, Neville, Ashley Cole, David James... Paddy McGuinness, um, <laughs> you've got some, you know, you've got some great, great players that you've managed in the past. Yes, and I'm uh, curious to see how fit they are, how, how many minutes they can run. Uh, and of course, then I know that I have some other players as well. And maybe the fitness there is, um, is very interesting to see <laughs> anyone, how they are. When anyone asks me, uh, like, that loves football and you know, my friends go, what's it like watching Soccer Aid when you're there? I say, because the, the standard's actually pretty good, but I say it's like watching a really good game of football, but it's like watching it in treacle, because after 10 minutes, everyone's so tired. Oh, so they slow down? Yeah, because they're not as not fit as professional footballers, and the, and the footballers are obviously all retired, and some of them are really fit, and some of them aren't so fit. So, it's, yeah, it's, like, it's a brilliant game to watch, but it's like... So watching. that's when you get to really I'm, see I'm how quite, amazing I'm, they are. Exactly. I'm quite sure that uh, Rooney, Neville, Gary Neville, scores and... Ashley Cole are still fit to run. Maybe not 100% 90 minutes, but they can run. I'm quite sure about that. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think you have any problems with the ex-pros. It's the celebrities you want to be looking at. Yeah. What sort of manager <laughs> okay. will you be, Sven? What sort of manager will you be? Will you be quite strict? I will, will be very strict. No, <laughs> I'm joking, too. <laughs> I mean, it's important. The important thing is that it's for a good cause we're doing this. And then we want to play good football, we want to win the match, but the most important is that it's great fun, everybody will love it, <clears throat> on the pitch, off the pitch. So, yeah, it's good, and I'm very honoured and very pleased to be there, 4th of uh, September. Yeah, it's a lovely <laughs> atmosphere, it's a really lovely family atmosphere at the Soccer Raid as well. I was doing the phones last year and I loved every yeah, minute of it. And, and, and I like Sven, you presented it. Like Sven, thank you, <laughs> 10 years. Like Sven said, UNICEF, <laughs> UNICEF raised £47 million pounds for, uh, during Soccer Raid since the first match in 2006 and we did 9.3 in 20, uh, 20 alone, which is great. Um, Sven, looking back at your time in England and I guess looking forward to the game tonight, firstly, what... What were you most proud of in, in, your, in your tenure between, uh, between 2001 and 2006? Well, it was to qualify for three big tournaments, of course, and then uh, to doing OK, not perfectly, because perfect is to reach the final. But I think we did OK. Um, some of the games during my time, there were some historic games, of course. But it, in general, I liked it, uh, I loved it, and uh, I was very, very proud of having that job. Because it's probably the best, the biggest job you can have in the world, in the football world. And what about regrets? Do you ever have any moments in, in that career where you think back and it keeps you awake at night? Or have you just moved on <laughs> from it? Well, because we lost two big tournaments on penalty shootouts, I regret that I didn't... Uh, take in a mental coach just for penalty shootouts. So that was a mistake. I regret that, but, uh, well, that's, that's done. That's history. And, uh, and Sven, what do, you, uh, what do you make of Gareth Southgate? You've worked with him many times. Um, he always seems like such a calm, reasonable guy and so rational. Yeah, absolutely. I had him uh, in the national team. He played some games, he was on the bench. And uh, you could see, very serious. 
very interested in uh, training and things like that and extremely professional. So I'm not surprised that he is a coach, he's a manager and that he's a very good manager. I'm not surprised at all. Yeah. And what about Wayne Rooney? Because I know you gave him his first England cap. Uh, what was it like to work <laughs> alongside Wayne? No, that was uh, great. It's always great when you have those big talent players. What it was like, I didn't really understand what he said when he talked because uh, <laughs> he didn't speak English. <laughs> I asked him to speak English, but uh, he just laughed. No, I mean, a great player and extremely professional in what he was doing. The big problem with him was to take him off the training pitch. He didn't want to leave. <laughs> We went back to the hotel for having lunch. He wanted to stay there and free kicks and uh, things like that. Mm. But I mean, another one, he's like an uh, icon in English football. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic man. And Sven, what do you make of, uh, of the game tonight? Obviously, it's a, it's a derby, really, isn't it? So anything can happen. Yeah, but I can't really see how Scotland shall beat England, the England of today. I know. Everything is possible, and of course, Scotland, they will try to do the, the match of their life. But on the, on, on the paper, England is so much better. They are so much better, so I can't see that England will not win the game. That should be a huge surprise for everyone, I think, and also for me. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, Dermot's a little bit upset there, but I'll, I'll be honest with you, I totally agree with you. Have you got any plans to come back to, I mean, man, it, I don't know, I don't know, plans to even come back to football full-time, maybe? Well, if it depends on me, yes, but uh, as, as always in football, it doesn't depend only on me. If something comes up, I, I would be interested, but I have a good life. Uh, as I have today. So if nothing comes, I'm completely happy. Anyhow. Well, tell me a bit about your life. What are you up to today, babes? <laughs> well, uh, during the Euros, I have a lot of interviews in England, in Sweden and Italy and Portugal because I worked in those countries. And so it's beautiful. And normally uh, I support my local football team. I'm looking at a lot of football life oh. locally. Uh, I play a lot of pedal, which I love. <laughs> what, like table no, tennis? No, I have a good life. Yeah. What did you say? Table tennis or what's paddle? Paddle. It's like uh, in between tennis and table tennis. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. Yeah. You live in the dream. You live in the dream. Yes. Sven, look yeah, forward to meeting is. you at Soccer Aid. Alison will hopefully be up there. Yeah, hopefully I'll <laughs> see you at Soccer Aid, Sven. Uh, Managing Team England uh, this year's Soccer Aid on the 4th of September 2021. Thanks for joining us, Sven. Lots of love. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.